Hello and welcome to tutorial number 12. Today we'll be discussing actually the first first look into Community Builder tabs. We can get to the tab management area from the icon here on the control panel or we can just click Community Builder tab management. Let's just take a look at the default tabs. We have 13. Two of the tabs are not published, the quick message tab and the forms tab and they're not published because they need, uh, ex they need uh, other extensions to be able to integrate. So they basically need, the CB forums needs Kunena and the quick message tab needs uh, UDDIM. <coughs> so let's just initially filter those. So let's just focus on the unpublished ones here sorry, on the published ones <laughs> here. So we have 11 published tabs. Now if we look in the front end at our profile, what's a tab actually? A tab is a placeholder for fields. So we have a canvas tab which is actually the placeholder for the canvas image field here. We have the contact info tab, which is what we see now here. We have the articles tab, the blogs tab, connections tab. So we have the articles tab, blogs tab. The connections tab is actually here. Okay, it's in, under this icon here. It's a nested menu, basically. That's what it's called. So we see that each tab here has a position and also has a display type. So we see our connections tab is in the display nested menu, nested tab menu position. The contact info tab is tab menu position. Okay. The canvas tab is in the display div without title. We'll just, you can see the, uh, the display and the position basically, the combination uh, influence how the tab is displayed on the profile. I'm not going to go in depth right now uh, on, the, on the positions and the display. You can explore it if you want on your own. I'm just going to go ahead and create a brand new tab here. And let's just call it additional info and keep everything the way it is default save and close and let's just go to my fields management area and find the gender field that we created in the previous tutorial Let me just search here. Gender. Easier that way. Found the gender field. And we see that it's in the contact info tab. Let's just go ahead and edit it and place it in the new tab we just created, the additional info tab. Let's save and close this. Now let's go to the front end now and do a refresh. We see that the additional info tab appears here below with the gender field in it. So we see it's kind of in a different position altogether from the rest of the tabs, the rest of the profile area. And that is because if we actually look at the tab, we'll see the additional info tab is positioned main area below and display is of this type. Now let's actually try to align this along with the other tabs. How do we do that basically? Uh, let's follow the contact info which is tab menu and canvas main middle. So let's just go and edit this and see where it says position and set that to canvas main middle and the display type set that to tab menu 
and save. So if you actually look at the additional info now, it seems in line with the contact info. And if I go to my front end and refresh, we'll see that the additional info got placed here. And we see there's these two icons here, left and right, to scroll back and forth. And if I press additional info, I will see the gender field, contact info, and so on. If I want to place it here, where connections is, like a, a nested menu here, I just go. I see the connections, nested tab menu. So I just go ahead and edit additional info. And in of tab menu, I said nested tab menu. And I click save. Refreshing in the front end. I don't see I don't see my additional info tab here, but I do see it in this drop down here along with connections. So if I click on additional info, there it is. Or I can click on connections and so on. Okay, I think this is enough for our introduction to tabs. You're welcome to experiment, changing positions and display types around to see how things uh, look on your profiles. Uh, these two settings are very powerful by themselves that they basically allow you uh, to do more or less anything you want. Just experiment for now and we'll come up with a little more examples in upcoming tutorials. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.